Imagine the green swamps of Florida, where among thick cane thickets and lazily drifting alligators, enormous snakes suddenly begin to appear, longer than a car. They did not show up here as part of local nature, but as a result of accidents and human carelessness. Just two decades have passed and the landscape of these places has changed beyond recognition. Do you want to know how an exotic snake from Asia turned an entire state into a battlefield? Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and we begin. The story starts back in the 1980s when the trend for exotic pets swept across the United States. That is when pythons began arriving straight from Asia. People kept them right in their apartments and houses, like cats or dogs. These snakes seemed unusual and even prestigious. But few thought about how a tiny young python would grow up to five and sometimes even seven meters, becoming a living monster. By that time alone, within just five years, more than 144,000 Burmese pythons had been imported into the United States. In 1992, a hurricane named Andrew struck Florida with particular force. It destroyed hundreds of homes, knocked down power lines, and demolished several animal facilities where exotic creatures were kept. Among those animals were pythons. Freedom for them became the beginning of taking over an entire ecosystem. Although some experts believe the destruction of facilities was not the only reason, for years, irresponsible owners released snakes into the wild when they could no longer handle the size of their pets. At first, people thought this was only temporary. They assumed the snakes would not survive in the American wild. But South Florida, with its humid climate and abundance of swamps, turned out to be strikingly similar to Southeast Asia, the homeland of these giant snakes. Here they found perfect living conditions. At first, early encounters with pythons became front page sensations in local newspapers. Reporters enthusiastically wrote about incredible snakes five meters long captured around Miami. For city residents, it sounded like a horror movie come true. But just a few years later, such reports stopped causing surprise. Pythons became a regular part of Florida news. Scientific observations confirmed the worst fears. Pythons began steadily pushing out local wildlife. Their diet turned out to be shockingly diverse. They ate raccoons, muskrats, marsh rabbits, and even deer. According to scientists, pythons hunt 70 species of animals, 24 species of mammals, 47 species of birds, and two species of reptiles. Local mammals disappeared literally with before and after pictures. A particularly telling case was recorded in Everglades National Park. Scientists noticed that raccoons, opossums, and marsh rabbits had almost vanished. According to some data, in areas with python populations, Raccoon and opossum numbers dropped by 99% and white-tailed deer by 97. It looked as if someone had pressed a delete button and the animals were gone. Pythons often chose birds as prey, including herons and even predatory hawks. Their size allowed them to hunt animals that were used to being hunters themselves. In rare but high-profile cases, attacks on young alligators were recorded. In 2005, shocking photographs circled the world showing a 13-foot python trying to swallow a 6-foot alligator but bursting from its own greed. And in 2022, biologists found a 1.5-metre alligator hole inside the stomach of a 5-metre python. This reptilian invasion became a real challenge for the entire ecosystem. Interestingly, Burmese pythons are not venomous. Their weapon is powerful coils of muscle. They wrap around their prey and slowly squeeze until the animal's heart stops. This method lets the python take prey many times thicker than its own body. These snakes have a secret biological advantage, hyperelastic skin between the lower jaws, which allows them to swallow prey six times larger than other snakes of similar size. There was a recorded case where a python weighing only 12 and a half kilograms swallowed a deer weighing 16 kilograms, setting a new predator to prey size ratio record. For Florida biologists, it became clear that nature alone could not overcome the invasion. Alligators, long considered the rulers of the swamps, sometimes won fights, but more often they themselves became victims. Balance had been broken and human intervention was inevitable. The state began population control campaigns. Programs were organized to capture and eliminate pythons. There were even special contests for hunters, 
where the winner was the one who brought in the most snakes. Authorities started paying hunters up to $30 an hour for searching, plus $50 for each python, up to four feet long, and an additional $25 for every extra foot. This turned into a strange mix of spectacle and heavy work for the sake of the ecosystem. The most impressive results came in the 2025 contest, when participants caught a record 294 pythons in just 10 days, and the winner, a woman, caught 60 snakes on her own and received the grand prize of $10,000. But even such achievements are only a drop in the ocean. Scientists estimate the python population in Florida ranges from 30 to 300,000. However, capturing pythons turned out to be no easy task. These giants can blend perfectly with their surroundings, hiding among swamp vegetation. Even trained specialists can walk just a meter away from a five meter snake and not notice it. Their camouflage is nearly flawless. Florida authorities brought scientists into the problem. Several research programs were launched. One of the most unusual was using radio transmitters implanted in pythons to track their movements. This revealed that snakes could travel dozens of kilometers through the swamps, spreading farther and farther. Biologists began using scout males with GPS trackers as living bait to locate larger females. Remarkably, female pythons can produce clutches of up to 100 eggs in a single season. By comparison, local snakes usually lay no more than a dozen. This biological potential made the python invasion virtually unstoppable. In 2022, a record-breaking female was captured, measuring 5.4 meters long and weighing 97 kilograms. Inside her were 122 follicles that could have become eggs. This broke all previous reproduction records. In scientific circles, there was even discussion of using specially trained dogs and drones with thermal cameras. Technology became a much needed ally in the search for these camouflaged giants. But results remained limited. For every python found, dozens went undetected. The human factor cannot be forgotten. Some owners released adult pythons when they became too big and dangerous to keep. In this way, people themselves poured fuel on this biological fire. The economic loss from all invasive species in the United States is estimated at $137 billion per year. For residents of Florida, Burmese pythons became a symbol of how human thoughtlessness can lead to disaster. What began as a trend for unusual pets turned into a long-standing ecological problem and there is no end in sight. Over the years of control programs, more than 19,000 pythons have been removed, yet the population keeps growing. But there is a lesson. Today, many states have implemented strict bans on keeping dangerous exotic animals. Scientists constantly remind us that every interference with nature has consequences that sometimes cannot be reversed. For two decades now, Burmese pythons have remained a hidden threat in Florida. They are reshaping an entire ecosystem and serve as a clear example that nature does not forgive mistakes. And here in the swamps, an old truth stands out. It is easier to prevent a problem than to spend years trying to fix it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what you think about this story.